In this video, we are going to combine shapes together, both in Photoshop and in Illustrator. At the end, I would like to be able to create or recreate this Celtic cross. And you will see that it's much easier to do this in Illustrator than to do it in Photoshop. Although Photoshop has also a lot of options to work with vector masks and to combine them together, it's still much easier to do it in Illustrator. So let me just first go to Photoshop and show you that with the shape tools we can easily create a shape layer and uh, I just draw a rectangle here and I'm going to actually change uh, the stroke to red or the fill color to red and the stroke to none. So we have a shape layer here as you can see. Now if I use the same shape tool but change the mode to combine shapes then I can start adding to the same shape layer and I can build whatever I want here. And then if I switch to subtract from shape then I can subtract from this. So I can create like a nice abstract uh, drawing. And then I can also choose intersect shape areas, which means wherever I'm going to draw over will be visible from the original uh, drawing. And then there is an option also to exclude overlapping shapes. So this gets a bit more complicated at the end, but most of the times you will probably use combine shapes and subtract shapes. But that's also a very useful option whenever you want to finish uh, or like finalize a shape instead of having all these separate little elements um, one by one here you can just go to the options and choose merge shape components and then it will create one uh, path from all those separate paths so this is how Photoshop can combine and uh, subtract and add shapes together but let me show you how it works in Illustrator because in Illustrator we have a bit more control and a bit more flexibility whenever we do things like these. So uh, let me just go to uh, Bridge first and drag this combining paths image, the Celtic cross, into Illustrator. And here, just like before, I am going to turn this into a uh, template so because I want to trace it over I double click on layer 1 and choose template and then I create a new layer and that's the layer where I'm going to work so I am going to instead of uh, using the pen tool here I am going to use the shape tools so uh, the ellipse tool and the rounded rectangle tool so let me first use the ellipse tool and I switch to no fill color and I'm going to use a red color for my strokes and I draw the first uh, circle. I hold down shift and then use space uh, also to move this uh, ellipse around. Shift is going to make it a perfect circle. There's my first circle. Now I can just press command C, command F or control C, control F on PC and then press E which is for transforming this and hold down Alt and Shift together or Option and Shift to drag it inwards and then press enter when you're ready or you can just simply select uh, the other tool the rounded rectangle tool so we have the two circles now we have to draw uh, the rounded uh, rectangle and uh, I am going to draw it but it's good to know that by pressing up and down arrows you can change the size of the radius of your um, rounded rectangle and with space once again we can position it wherever we want it by holding down space you can always move it around and this is where I would like to have this uh, rounded rectangle then I am going to draw the one inside so I just click and drag and I just use a bit of the space to place it in and then I use the path selection tool uh, the black arrow select these two and then I'm going to press command C command F and then I just simply rotate them around and hold down shift to position it in place so now I all the lines I created and I actually created only a couple of shapes two ellipses and four rounded uh, rectangles so if we want to see how they look we can select all of them and uh, press shift X to switch between uh, fill and the stroke color. So put the stroke color onto the fill and vice versa. So now we have the fill colors 
um, but I prefer to see the original way so I will press shift X again but you can see already the structure now we can uh, turn off the template in the background and we can choose white as the fill color for them and black as the stroke and maybe we can also increase the stroke size a little bit something like that to be able to see the original image I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to double click on it make sure it's not a template anymore and I just simply move the image away so I put the image here on the left and I move uh, the illustration on the right so we will be able to see what we need to achieve so you can already see that the stroke size is a little bit too much so I just reduce it down probably to five points and then we can select all these parts together and use the shape builder tool to join parts together what needs to be joined so I'm going to click here drag over these three parts and it already joined those parts together then I'm going to do the same thing here again I just need to continue doing it click and drag over these and then click and drag over those now we need to join these lines together as well so I click and drag over them then I click and drag over them and I think that's it we I think we are already done let me just click away and yeah the county cross is done we just need to fill these parts in with black and for that I am going to use another tool so I am going to just simply select this again and we are going to use a similar tool to the shape builder tool it's under the shape builder tool just click and hold on to it and then you can select the live paint bucket tool so I'm going to select that and with the right arrow I switch to black fill and with black fill I just need to click on those parts which I would like to fill with black so it's that simple I just go over it and fill it with black and we are done so we recreated this very complicated shape with the use of shape tools and then the shape builder and the life paint bucket tool you can try to do the same thing in Photoshop but you will find it very complicated here in Illustrator it's much easier so that's also a rule of thumb whenever you have a complex illustration you, in your head or something that you would like to replicate or trace over it's much easier to do it in Illustrator no matter if you use the pen tool or shapes together but just simply Illustrator have more features to work with vector objects and finally just as a reminder if we want to save this as a symbol we can just click on the symbols panel and drag and drop the whole selection and call this Celtic cross so it's saved as a symbol for us and we can use it later on so that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial and in the following two tutorials we are going to stay in Illustrator and learn a little bit more about the features which we can use together with vector shapes